October 25th is observed as International Artist Day. So we, the students of Standard 8th day, is here to observe today. International Artist Day honors those creative souls that lead, that leave the record of today for the future that can't be captured into the history books. The agonies and joy of the human beings is portrayed throughout the hunting of the melody, the violence and the fury caught on a photograph, and the serene grace of the statue staring into the eternity. International Artist Day is cre- has been created so that we can celebrate the incredible work of our world and the amazing and creative artists that carry out their work. We should take a moment to reflect on the impact, incredible impact of art had as on us and all around the world. Not only painting, after all, there are different forms of art ranging from sculpture to painting. It takes a specific type of person to be an artist. This person thinks outside of the box. An artist is naturally creative and they see things in different perspective. The work that they produce is outstanding and those who of us who does not have a creative born in our body, I say we should really appreciate their work. Leonardo da Vinci Leonardo da Vinci was an Italian man who lived in the time of Renaissance. He is famous for his paintings, but he was also a scientist, mathematician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, sculptor, architect, botanist, musician, and a writer. He was born on 15th April 1452 at Anciano in Italy. He was also known as Second Florentine since he lived near Florence. Da Vinci received no formal education beyond basic reading, writing, and math, but his father appreciated his artistic talent and apprenticed him at around age 15 to the noted sculptor and painter Andrea del Verrocchio of Florence. For about a decade, Da Vinci refined his painting and sculpting techniques and trained in mechanical arts. When he was 20, in 1472, the Painters Guild of Florence offered Da Vinci membership but he remained with Verrocchio until he became an independent master in 1478. Around 1482, he began to paint his first commissioned work, The Adoration of the Maki, for Florence San Donato Escopito Monastery. However, Da Vinci never completed that piece. Leonardo da Vinci died on 2nd May 1519. His famous works are The Virgin and Child with Saint Anne Lady with an Ermine Saint John the Baptist The Last Supper His most famous work is Mona Lisa The Mona Lisa painting is one of the most emblematic portraits in the history of art which is located in Laur, painted by Leonardo da Vinci in the 16th century. It joined the court of the France before being added to the work on the display at the Lao Museum. Pablo Picasso Pablo Picasso was a Spanish painter, sculptor, ceramist, theatre designer and printmaker. He was born on 25th October 1881 in the city of Malaga in southern Spain. His surname Picasso comes from Liguria, a coastal region of northwestern Italy. He was the most influential artist of 20th century. He is known for co-founding the Cubist movement, the invention of constructed sculpture. Pablo Picasso died on April 8, 1973 at the age of 91 due to heart failure. His famous works are The First Communion a child with a dow, bull's head sculpture. His most famous work is Weeping Woman. The Weeping Woman is an oil on canvas painting by Pablo Picasso, which he created in France in 1937. The picture depicts his mistress Dora Mar. 
Rafaelo Sancio da Urbino, also known as Rafael, was born on March 28, 1483 at Urbino in Italy. He was an Italian painter and architect of the high Renaissance. His work is admired for its clarity of form, ease of composition, and visual achievement of the Neoplatonic ideal of human grandeur. Together with Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, he forms the traditional trinity of great masters of that period. He died on April 6, 1520. His major works are The Sistine of Madonna, Transfiguration, The Marriage of the Virgin, The Trump of Galatea, Stanza della Secnatura. His most famous work is The School of Athens. The School of Athens is in fresco by the Italian Renaissance artist Raffi. It was painted between 1509 and 1511 as a part of the commission of Raffi for decorating the room, now known as Stanze di Raffaello, in the Apostolic Palace in Vatican. Mm -hmm.